Hello everyone and welcome to this video where we're going to be making a coaxial rotor helicopter. This is the third type of helicopter. We do have a video where we covered a regular one with a tail rotor. We do have a tandem rotor helicopter and now we're talking about this one. Now a coaxial rotor helicopter has two rotors that spin in opposite directions and again doesn't require a tail rotor and is very maneuverable. Now this example here is based on the video that I made which was an introduction to making helicopters. So if you are not familiar with making helicopters, I recommend you go take a look at that video. That is sort of a prerequisite to what we're going to be doing here. This style of helicopter with its sort of engine configuration and the use of the gyroscope and stuff like that is going to be briefly covered but in the other video talking about how to make a simple helicopter it's covered in greater detail and then i went ahead and also in the next video part two covered how to make position hold altitude hold and yaw hold as well as some other stabilization functions so we're not going to cover those here and all of those are applicable to making this coaxial rotor helicopter. So with that said, we will start with this as our template and pretty much remove that tail rotor. So with that removed, you can even go in here and see we don't need any of this because we're just going to have it go right up into the propeller shaft or rotor shaft so that goes there and we could just close up the back of this helicopter now yes it looks ridiculous but the expectation is that you can adapt it to your own creation so you see how there is an rps node on the top of this that allows us to mount multiple rotors on top of one another all we need is two and of course I want to make it match so that one had two this one's going to have two as well and you got to make it neutral so you can apply the collective now i did find a very good tutorial this tutorial is made by avon and it is a guide to making coaxial rotor helicopter in stormworks of course you can find this tutorial yourself or this guide and follow the steps yourself but i'm going to be going through how to make a microcontroller how to balance it and make it work. So if you are a visual learner like myself, then this will be of use to you. So this guy does serve as an example, especially because I don't actually have a coaxial rotor helicopter in my inventory just yet. But what is neat is it gives us a rundown on how to do it. So I'm going to be following these steps basically, but like I said, changing the microcontroller, giving it my own twist, and of course, stabilizing it in the end. The first thing we're going to do in the game here is flip the direction of this. Now we did this for making the tandem rotor helicopter. We're going to do the same here. So we're going to grab the top one and hit U. So the big arrow is going to still be facing forward, but now you could see it's positive left and negative is right opposite of the one below. So when we've stacked them on top of one another like this, what I'm going to go ahead and do, and now this is assuming you follow the steps on how to make a helicopter, so you will have your gyroscope attached to the roll and pitch and collective and stuff, possibly also going through the various uh, other microcontrollers that we developed, but we're going to make another microcontroller that is going to be specific to making this type of helicopter the coaxial one thing if you are following my tutorials you just want to make sure that the helicopter engine node for the engine rps if you are deleting the uh, tail rotor or the rotor rps node that you adjust this we'll put 17 rps and you just have to make sure you attach this node to the engine rps so that's just a little tidbit if you are following these if you're using your own microcontroller with your own sort of uh, PID controller that balances your RPS then you don't have to worry about that anyway that is the first step so we have our microcontroller here and now we have to start populating it 
Now, we're going to need a few different things, so I'm going to go ahead and just add a bunch of random nodes. We're actually going to need six of them. So with six nodes and the size of the microcontroller expanded, we're going to call this coaxial heli. And what I'm going to do is now go and change what we need here. So the first one that we're going to add is a number and it is an input with the roll in. So this roll in is coming from the seat and we're going to want a yaw in as well. That's a number. Then we're going to want a roll for the top rotor. And that's going to be a number output. And then we're going to want another output. That's a number. And it is the top rotor collective. And likewise, we are going to need a bottom collective. And that's going to be also a number output. And last but not least, collective in. So that will be a number input. And that's kind of the basic micro or basic nodes that we need to set up here for the microcontroller. As always, organize them here, left and right. Okay. So with this setup now, what we need to do is start to make a series of addition and subtraction. So you can right away go and add addition and subtraction. And it's quite simple. So the first thing we're going to want is our roll in. We're going to put that at the very top here. And we're going to put the roll for the top rotor. And this one is just inverse. Now, of course, you could use the pre-made inversion. But I just like having everything in a microcontroller and having it all here. So that is the first step. We're just going to add that roll in top rotor roll with an inversion. So simply just a negative. Now down here where we have the collective and the yaw, this is where we have these addition and subtraction functions. So for the collective, we're going to want to set it to A on both of these. And the yaw, we're going to want to set it to B on both of these. And this top addition is going to our top collective. And the bottom is going to the bottom collective. So in essence, how this works is based on us trying to have collective, it actually applies some of the yaw. And that's actually how we get the helicopter to turn. Because of course, there's no tail rotor. So slowing down and speeding up certain propellers or rotors cause us to spin kind of like how a drone works too. drones don't have tail rotors they'll have four uh, rotor blades so kind of similar to that anyways we're going to go ahead and apply this in here and now we go and attach it to the rotor assembly so the yaw will go to the yaw in the stabilized yaw of the gyroscope and you can see that our yaw is coming out of the yaw hold which is absolutely fine then we'll need our roll in. So you can see that we currently have this stabilized roll going up to this rotor here. We're going to also attach it to the roll in of our new microcontroller. And lastly, collective in goes to the stabilized up down. Now over here, we have top collective. So easily we'll attach to the top and we have bottom collective, which now overrides that one. And we have the roll on the top rotor. So roll on the top rotor. Now the roll on the bottom rotor will stay as it is. And the pitch is just from both the gyroscope to both rotors pitch. We can spawn it in, hit the takeoff button and see what happens. So first things first, okay. It seems to have gotten off the ground and we can apply, you know, forward pitch, backward pitch, the roll seems to work nicely, a little bit of delay you see there. And if we add collective up and then collective down, I think it'll start to shake. So you can see that shaking. But overall, it's working, right? You're able to fly this creation, it's up in the air, pretty stably. So that is the first iteration. 
and this microcontroller you could leave as it is, but now we're going to get to fine tuning. So uh, if you saw the tandem rotor helicopter, you're going to know that we changed some of these settings to account for making it shake a little bit less. And this is not a one size fits all solution. Now keep in mind with this current helicopter, it's quite small, it's quite light, so the game doesn't do very very well with very light objects so we could just take all of these and tune them down just a slight little bit and likewise my max throttle i could also tune down and we'll just see how that works so this is a little bit of testing trial and error going back and forth you can see that our engine rps is around 15 which is good over here we got our altitude we don't have our rotor speed but overall now if I go up collective and then down you can see it's not really shaking it shakes a little bit but not anything that would be cause for concern I suppose especially as the RPS kind of stable out it seems to be handling pretty smoothly now we could throw on the altitude hold actually and then start to pitch forward and hit collective and it should start to move at its maximum speed in this direction and even if without so you don't hold collective sorry you just hold w i'm just holding pitch forward and we're able to go forward and this is sort of the max speed now yes you can turn off the auto uh, stability on the gyroscope but i don't like doing that because then you end up with a pretty unstable creation whereas this is fairly stable and you can see that it sort of is working as you'd expect maybe a little bit of shaking but I'm assuming if it's a bigger creation it won't really have these problems and even if it shakes a little bit I really don't as long as it doesn't come crashing down then it's not too bad so that's all there is to it if you want to make a helicopter like this you follow these steps these rules and you are able to get a coaxial helicopter working quite simply now of course there are displays and other functions and things but as far as having a position and altitude hold and some of these other features i'd say this is pretty good good enough certainly so thank you all for watching hopefully learn something i do want to thank my discord server boosters and of course my youtube members for the extra support and for that they get bonus content they get early releases on creations and videos and stuff so that's something they get to enjoy. And until next time, happy storm mixing, everyone. I'll see you. And yes, I noticed it shaking as I kind of do those hardcore moves, but a little bit of tuning in that uh, gyroscope will probably solve that. And if not, just a different size, different shape helicopter. But overall, I'd say this thing is pretty good for the size and for its functionality. Take care, everyone.